When you travel, do not ever do this in the airplane. Do not ever do this in the airport. Today, I'm going to share travel tips of what not to do from the time you get to airport security, what not to do in the airplane mid-flight, all the way until you land. Here are some things to not do in the airplane. This number one travel tip is for your carry-on bag. I don't think I've ever shared this here before, but a flight no-no happened to me in the airplane and the guy in front of me put his personal item bag under his seat. Do not put your personal item bag under your seat. It goes under the seat in front of you. Another travel tip is put your carry-on suitcase above your aisle's seats. This is a hot topic that makes people very frustrated inside the airplane. They get to their seat and then there are no overhead bin spaces allowed because people in the back of the plane have put their carry-on suitcases in that spot and then they walk back to their empty seat. One travel tip if your seat is in the back of the airplane is to ask the flight attendant right when you get in the airplane if there is overhead bin space still available. I think the lighting might be better if I sit over here for some reason. Thanks for your patience. Okay, here's another travel tip of how you can help the airline flight attendants while you're inside the airplane. When you finish your snack and your free drink, just put your trash inside the cup and hand it all as one item to the flight attendants. Another hot ticket item is do not put your barefoot or if it has a sock on it on that seat armrest in front of you it smells you may not smell it and people's feet are just kind of dirty or nasty to other passengers <laughs> this airplane no-no happened to me with my toddler i had my airpods in or my headphones on listening to my entertainment stuff and my toddler was it was a 6 a.m flight so all these people were sleeping but my toddler was listening to his little leapfrog something or other without the headphones it was loud and the flight attendant asked me to make him turn off his volume or use headphones so do not forget to pack the headphones and then do not ever in the airplane or in the airport boarding area have your ipad or your entertainment or music going or the phone talking to someone without the headphones contain the noise when you're in public or in the doctor's office if you have not flown in a long time, this tip is for you. And that is most airlines are going to your phone having the entertainment system. So have your own headphones ready to go. I have a video that will be great for you if you have a lot of technology cords that need organizing and ideas of how to pack them efficiently. And I will link that video there. I am a Houston pilot wife and I share tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. Say hey if we have not met yet. Another travel tip for inside the airplane to make sure you do not do, do not forget to check your carry-ons requirements for your airline. Some of them are different, especially if you're going on an international trip. I've got some new updates that I'll put in this video up here for you. Even some of the personal item bag dimension restrictions that some of these international airlines are giving you are absurdly small, like smaller than a school backpack. And there's plenty of room underneath that airplane seat. Let us know in the description box below bags that you are finding that fit those small, small dimensions and any travel hacks that you can think of. If you're taking an in-cabin pet, just know that the pet carrier cannot stick out from underneath the airplane. So make sure you check the dimensions for that bag as well. And that does count as one of your carry-ons. Another travel tip is that you do need to be able to recline your seat. You have paid for that ticket and every passenger in the airplane knows that the seat back will recline at some point during the flight. So do not feel guilty about doing that. It goes back maybe two or three inches. If you as a passenger do not want the seat in front of you to recline, my travel tip is to choose the bulkhead seat. That's the first row behind first class or the first row of seats behind the exit row because exit row seats do not recline. For longer flights, do not forget to pack eye drops. That air is very dry. If you have any kind of nasal drip problems, spray it with the nasal spray before the flight. I also pack Tylenol because I usually get a headache when I land, especially coming from a dark airplane to a bright sunny vacation spot again. <laughs> 
a very important travel tip is to have your passport and any kind of documents in your personal item bag inside the airplane with you not in your carry-on suitcase or in your checked luggage at all. And then a follow-up tip to that is to take a picture of the barcode that's inside the back cover of your passport. Replacing a passport will be much faster if you have that barcode. This travel tip is for when you purchase your airplane ticket. There are so many airlines who will give you an array of choices for a connecting flight to your final destination. For instance, if I want to go to from Houston to Bozeman, Montana for a wonderful low humidity vacation, the airlines may give me a 50 minute layover time in Dallas. That is not enough time for a connection. You have weather delays, you have 10 minutes of trying to get off the airplane, and then remember airplanes board 20 to 30 minutes before the plane takes off. So you've got to walk through the large airport Anyway, do not make a connection time less than an hour for domestic flights. International flights, I would bump that up to a three hour connection. If the airplane seatbelt sign is on above your seat, like buckle your seatbelts, do not get up. You are not supposed to get up and go to the restroom. It will take you about 20 to 30 minutes after the plane takes off before they'll turn the seatbelt sign off and then you're allowed to go to the restroom. It's not that you could hurt yourself as much, you could hurt other people fatally. So be respectful and always follow the rules that the cabin crew tells you as well. There are also some travel no-nos for the airport. And one thing is before you get to the airport, I would check in for your flight. Another travel tip is to already have that ticket and your ID ready when you walk into the security line. Do not make small talk with the TSA officers. Just keep moving. It's okay to be friendly and say one phrase. It's okay to ask questions. Hey, I've got metal in my elbows, do you want to know anything about that? Or, um, hey, I've got liquid medicines. Do you want to see them in the gray bin or should I keep them in my bags today? It's okay to say things like that, but it's you don't want to try and be funny and carry on a conversation of small talk because you're holding up all of the passengers who are ready to go through airport security. One of the major travel tips when going through airport security is to watch for the little signs they put up for just that day maybe and listen to what the officers are saying or yelling if they're having a bad day um, for what does not need to be put in the gray bin or what does need to be put in the gray bin. Because of a low security threat or because they're checking out new technology that day in just that airport, you may not have to take out your bag of liquids. Here's one thing you should never do in airport security. Do not wait until you put your suitcase on the conveyor belt to unzip or untie or take off your shoes. You wanna slip them off, you wanna unzip them some or all the way. You wanna loosen up the laces before you even get in line so that they become slip on shoes. That's a travel hack. So that you are ready to keep that line going. They do not want anything in your pockets, by the way. That's something that they do not advertise. And I think that's an important tip for people going through security. Some people are so nervous about going through airport security that they get in a hurry. And then that is when you forget your ID and important travel items. Okay. I want to tell you this to put your mind at ease. Some people are like, oh, it's so much to remember going through airport security. I'm just telling you what I have seen as all my years as a pilot wife. So if you are ready before you get to the airport, you are going to save that stress. You're going to be less stressed because you stressed less by not putting on your belt at home, not putting on your bulky jewelry. You're gonna walk up to airport security and you're going to have your liquids bag and your electronics bigger than a phone easily accessible. Then you're gonna have your shoes loosened. That's it, that's all you have to do. But what I'm showing you is what mistakes I've seen. So I'm telling you all kinds of things that people have thought that they have to do in security. And I'm saying, do not do them. So just set your mind at ease and let's go. Another travel tip is do not pack luggage. 
I have so many packing tip videos that I will link down in the description box below for you to help you pack only what you need so that you can mix and match. A lot of you have asked if I use the tracker things and I wanted to so bad because some of the containers are so cute. I, we do not do that with our carry-on luggage. So my husband said, we, we use carry-on, so why do we need it? So I would only use those if I'm checking luggage. Since my husband is a pilot, we fly standby and therefore we only pack in carry-on suitcases because if we were to check our suitcase for a flight to Spain, for instance, and then there were no seats available for us, they would have to delay the flight to find our checked luggage somewhere under the airplane. Now I have a packing tip video for those of you who've not flown in a very long time and you get to fly again and pack again, maybe in a carry-on bag. So I will link that video for you. Make sure you say hey and let us know where you're going and let us know if the reclining seat or the foot on the armrest is a hot topic for you. Thanks for your time.